Welcome to Inaware's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an ME21N Create Purchase Order Transaction Automation Script utilizing Process Runner's Transaction Technology. Here in this Excel spreadsheet is a set of data for several purchase orders we need to create. We have header as well as multiple line item data, so we will be implementing looping with this script. Let's start by opening up Process Runner and double clicking New Transaction. In the New Process pop up window, in the Transaction Code box, let's enter ME21N and press Enter. Now we will log into the appropriate SAP system in our SAP landscape. Let's maximize our SAP GUI to make it easier to navigate. First, we will need to push Control F2, Control F3, and Control F4 on our keyboards to expand our header, item overview, and item menus. If we don't expand these menus, Process Runner will not be able to write data to these menus when our script executes. If we click on these buttons to expand the menus, Instead of entering Control F2, Control F3, and Control F4, our script will error out as clicking on these buttons would be automated, leading to them collapsing and expanding instead of permanently being expanded. Next, we will enter our vendor number of 2000 and press Enter. Let's enter 1000 for our purchasing organization, 008 for our purchasing group, and 1000 for our company code. We'll press enter again, and this will separate our header data from our line item data. On the second line, let's enter our item number, our material number, our purchase order quantity, our net price, plant number, and storage location. Now we'll push enter. Notice that the first line item is pushed to the first row. We will need to push enter again to account for this warning message and enter once again for the second warning message. If we don't push enter to account for these warning messages, our script will error out when executing. Now let's push the Set Filter button and select Item and push this left arrow key and then push this Determine Values for Filter criteria button. Next we will enter our line item number of 10 for our filter and click Enter. And then push Save to end the script recording process. Here in the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, let's select Use External Excel File to link the recording to our desired data set. From the simple view of Process Runner, let's verify our mapping. We have each of our fields mapped to the proper columns, except for our last field which was the line item number to filter by. Let's do a simple drag and drop to change this to column E. Now let's set Process Runner to the advanced view. Let's scroll down to where our line item data starts. And from this screen, in the screen name dropdown, let's select Start Loop. Process Runner automatically places the end loop just before a save screen, so we will leave this at its default placement. For our block type, we will keep this at the default setting as well. When Process Runner detects a value in column A, then it will begin the looping process, will ignore blank cells, and then stop the loop when it encounters a value again in column A. 
Let's go to the home ribbon now and set our start row and end row. We could execute the script from here, but let's go back to the mapper ribbon so we can see the SAP messaging right to Excel. Now let's press the run button, and after following this prompt, we will save our script to a location on our hard drive or network. Now that our script has finished executing, let's bring up our Excel spreadsheet and log into SAP and verify that our first purchase order was created successfully with all of its line items. Our data has been uploaded to SAP. We have successfully created an ME21N transaction automation script with the transaction technology of Process Runner. Thanks for watching this video. And if you would like to learn more about how to simplify SAP, please visit us at inaware.com and be on the lookout for more videos in this series.